here we need to propose the universal set uh, in this condition let me read the question if the sets a135 b2 comma 4 comma 6 and c 02468 which of the following may be considered as a universal set s for all the three sets a b c so what i told universal set universal set means the universe of the set so there are uh, there are set a b and c so this all set you know universal set should be such a big that comprises set a uh, sorry not outside that that includes b also that includes c also so after combining a b and c whatever the you will get whatever the set or even bigger than that it may be possible all right but minimum all the elements of a should be all the elements of b should be there and all the elements of c should be there in the universal set and if there is more then that's okay but at least these members of a b and c should be there must be there right so let's find out such a set uh, such 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 universal set having all the a b c elements all right so in a we have 1 3 5 let's say here we have 1 3 or 5 or not 1 we have 3 we have 5 we have fine 2 4 and 6 we have 2 we have 4 we have 6 okay we have 0 2 4 6 8 0 no 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 there is no 8 i got it is the problem here all right so this is not 5 come on there are a lot of elements so uh, 0 uh, 0 2 4 6 at first find out let's see 0 2 4 6 8 yeah we got it and we have 1 3 5 yes 1 3 5 got it and 2 4 6 2 4 6 yes this is the perfect one that is going to match this is our universal set all right we got it and let's let's say about this whether this is or not now one uh, first uh, we have in the c we have member zero but here is not zero no zero so we can cancel this we can cancel this we can cancel this this is our right choice this is our right choice all right this is the perfect universal set for this i told you it may be bigger see there is there is no nine and ten if you see where is nine and ten in our sets a b and c right means i'm talking about this extra part there might be some extra elements here all right so we got the all elements of A there, universal set, so this is our universal set U, or you can say S as uh, predicted in, as said in this question. Uh, we got the elements of A, we got the elements of B also, we got the elements of C also, and if you're getting more, that's okay, but we need this only, right? Suppose you need 100 bucks for buying for buying your shirt, and if you get 200, then that, that's okay, but the minimum requirement is hard red, right? That's okay, yes. I hope you understand this problem. And in the next video, uh, I think uh, we're going to discuss about the Venn diagrams. All right, so Venn diagram is very important thing uh, while learning set. So please keep in mind this will also help you in other uh, other subjects like fi uh, while finding the probability problems or while solving the probability problems or in other other sections also to understand the basic things also. You know you can easily draw the Venn diagram. You can understand it's it's, it's really interesting and important. All right, in mathematics, this will be really fun because we'll be making pictures and uh, we'll be watching uh, how many sections are there, how many not, whether they are joint or disjoints. Many things will come, so it is very important and very interesting. I really love the uh, Venn diagram and solving the problems with the help of Venn diagram techniques. So uh, I hope we'll be enjoying there also. All right, catch you in the next video. Goodbye.